When we surrender our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, He willingly accepts us. And we come to see how all our past experience has meaning on the redemption side. Ace Clark is one of my favorite examples of this, from a feared member of society as an outlaw biker to a respected spiritual leader. Ace Clark is the pastor of the Joshua Center in Hamilton and co-founder of the Hamilton Dream Center. Both of these with joy, and I don't just mean the emotion, but his wonderful wife, a dynamic team, 35 years in ministry. The scary part gets older and older, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> you were telling me another wonderful slice of uh, this. This used to be my daughter's favorite show and tell at the Christian school. Can you imagine that, Ace? She loved your story. <laughs> but tell us about the artist who did the pictures. The artist who did the pictures was a, a good friend of ours. Actually, when we had a printing company years ago, he was, he was our graphic guy. He's one of the best graphic guys in the country. His name is Paul Hughes, and he was um, uh, very, very good at it. But the problem was is he got into drugs, and he lost his ability to draw when he got into drugs. But he went to Teen Challenge, and he got clean, and he got his abilities. I, I think he got more than what he had back. And he did the comic book, and uh, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a great graphic artist. Just Here's the old guy. ace with your biker chick. <laughs> and, you know, just to be reminded that Joy got involved with you at 16, and she was a pastor's daughter. I just want to say to maybe some despairing parents, where there's life, there's hope. Keep praying. Amen. Because look at you two, community leaders and this blows me away. You've visited 17 countries. You've talked to 5 million high school students. Yes. And what do you tell them when you get that audience? Well, I have a, uh, when I'm in high schools, I have a program that I speak from, and, and it's, it's called The Game, okay? And The Game, the letters in The Game stand for Growth, Attitude, Maturity, and Excellence. And, you know, what, any student that can wrap his head around that and get into it neck deep, they'll never fail, never fail. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I've been taking uh, that message to all those students. G-A-M-E, growth, attitude, maturity, excellence. Yeah. yeah. You show them the gunshot holes and you... Sometimes. Yeah. Yep. When they Get wanna, their attention. When they, when they want to know what real life is all about, there it is. There it is. It's the knife wounds in the back. It's there. God preserved you for a purpose. It's called Amazing Grace. It sure enough is. Nine years ago now you established the Hamilton Dream Center. Yes. Tell us about it. Well, the Hamilton Dream Center is down in the area of Hamilton that is the highest crime rate area. The part of the street that we're on a main street is known for two things. It's called Crack Central and Hooker Canyon. Oh, and in Hamilton, the sad point is the entry age of prostitution in Hamilton is 13 years old. So the Hamilton Dream Center, when, we, when, when um, Joy and I started the church, we wanted to uh, walk around the neighborhood uh, to get a feel of the neighborhood. And when we saw how needy the neighborhood was, we started looking for an answer. How do we help these people? Well, we met Tommy Barnett, Pastor Tommy Barnett, and he told us about the Los Angeles Dream Center. And uh, that's what we've, we're fashioning our Dream Center after, is the Los Angeles Dream Center, so that we can minister to as many people in as many needs as possible. And uh, we've got some plans that are, are just coming to work. We have a, a, a program that we call Out of the Dark, or actually we call it the 627, because that's the way that, that users and dealers talk. When they want to meet somebody somewhere, they'll never say, we're going to go over to Fred's house. We're going to go to 321, and everybody knows where that is. So we call it 627. That's a house number for the drug deals, is it? That's, that's, a house, that's the, the address of the Dream Center, yeah. 627 Main so Street. So the ladies will be able to come in. They will be able to get a hot meal, a hot shower, a change of clothes, and good Christian fellowship because there's no greater sermon that's ever been preached than the Christian life well lived. And that's the way I that's the way I look at it. We got to see these ladies a better life. And you've uh, well, you've 
put out food and clothing. Three million dollars worth has it's, been pumped into a very needy part of this country. It's yeah, it's getting up. I'll tell you, it's getting up. We we have our our food bank is set up like a store. We don't just hand them a box of food or a box of clothing, because sometimes you know there'll be something in there they can't eat or won't eat. We let them shop for what they want. It's yeah. set up like a store. Keeps dignity in place. Yep, and that's the whole that's the whole goal of the Hamilton Dream Center is to give a rebirth to the di of dignity to those who have lost it. Now, what are you doing special for Christmas for your well, community? We, we are having, we're hoping to provide uh, a full Christmas dinner, including a turkey, for about 140 families. And we've got a, one big back room is set up like a toy store. I, I wish I could have brought a picture of it. It's set up like a toy store and the parents come in and they will choose the toys for their, for their children. They take them over to the side where we have ladies who will wrap them and we let them sign their names to the, uh, to the gifts because you know what? The kids will recognize a stranger's name on their gift and we don't want that to happen. Good, we and you're not serving dinner. You're giving them the food to We're take giving, home giving and them prepare the, for yeah. their family. Oh yeah, yeah. That's exactly the way it is. So that's what we're that's what we're looking for is 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 f uh, fresh f you know vegetables and fruit and stuff to come in to add to the package of the the turkey that we've had donated to us. Oh, the turkeys are already in place. The turkeys are already marching. All right. Yep. Well, you've got a good thing going there. The gift of Christmas. Share the hope. What I love are uh, your ideas for. Um, I take these to your boss, okay, to raise money in lieu of your secret Santa. Uh, donate to families in need. Uh, inf instead of employee gifts, you can make a donation. Have a 50-50 draw amongst the staff. Christmas or bake sale. Uh, challenge your boss to make a donation. Uh, dollar for dollar. That's not a bad plan. You can even ask your customers to donate. You've been thinking this through, Ace. Oh, well, yeah. It's been working for you. <laughs> the more people, more people on the team, the better chance of winning. Well, you've got to win. And, and contact, by the way, your website, uh, hamiltondreamcenter.ca. Um, donations can also be made by calling 905-527-8605. That's 527-8605. Now, um, yeah, we can't go back to your story, except in light of your latest book. This is your third, third book creation. Yep. The best things about church... I learned in a motorcycle club? Yep. Ace, you <laughs> rascal. Well, you know what? The, the reason that I say that, to be quite honest with you, is having traveled the way that I have in, in all across Canada, United States, Europe, even Eastern Europe, um, some of the ways that I've seen people treat each other in churches, you would never see it in a motorcycle club. Mm. And... So I wrote the book not to bash anybody. I don't bash people anymore. But I hope that it's in hopes that if someone reads that book and they realize that there's a point in their life that they need to have changed so that they can serve him better serving others, then they will, they will bite on that and walk with it. You talk about sloppy agape. <laughs> Go ahead, tell them what that's about. Well, that's just, that's pretending that you're church. You know, that's pretending that you're doing all the right things. Agape is unconditional love. Yes. It's God's kind of love. Yeah. But when, when I say sloppy agape, it's the false front of that, mm -hmm. right? In-depth agape is when you swim in it up to here. And that's what God wants us to do. That's truly being conformed to his image. If we can love each other the way that he loved us, right? And the Bible says this, no greater love hath any man than this, that he would lay down his life for a friend. You know, we had several guys in the club did that. Several guys, I could literally took, consciously took bullets for other people and saved their lives and lost their, they saved the lives of the other guy, but they lost theirs. You're some of the old crowd. Yep, there they are. I loved how you commented on gossip. Now, gossip wouldn't be what you would call it in your club, but if one had off against another, how yeah. would you handle it? Well, if there's a problem between the two guys in the club, then it was taken. We used to do a thing called a roundabout where everybody had to be there at a certain day and you couldn't miss it. There was you, Whether you were sick, dead, or in jail, you still had to be there. 
<laughs> and what it would happen then is each guy would get up and walk around the room and face each member and tell them exactly what he thought of them. None of this behind your back stuff. No, it's never allowed. And, and the thing is, um, you do that because if you don't know your brother's got a problem with you, you can't fix it. But if there was a problem that couldn't be handled by talking, you went into her, we had a special room that you went into and you settled it with knuckles. And when that was settled with knuckles, the winner had to serve the loser for six months. Wow. It didn't matter what he wanted, whether he just wanted a beer or something like that, the winner would serve the loser. And you know what? That made us that tight. Yeah, you couldn't it open bond. it. It was a real bond. And that's, that's the attitude, the servant attitude that would cause a person to be willing to give their life for another. A lot of emphasis on unity, loyalty, standing together against an enemy, not fighting each other. Yeah. Can we pull up the shot of the guys on the motorcycle? <laughs> we could do this as a little Christmas quiz. Yeah. How many guys can you get on, is that one motorcycle mm -hmm. underneath them? Has anyone ever got the right answer? Nobody's got the right answer yet. <laughs> but here's a team, here's a team. You know, there's another shot of you guys coming out of court, and that was an experience you had yes. from time to time. Oh, yes. Um, but together, together. That, and that's them all. That's the whole club. The whole club would if show up. If one guy went to court, everybody was there with him. And that's the way it was. <coughs> you know, I, I'd love to pull out some more of these, but they are in, are in the book. Love, sacrifice, obedience, forgiveness. You make the point that technology is so far ahead of our human relationships. We yeah. really need to work on this and you know how special Christmas is for this. Here's a tip, I love this. This is, I'm gonna call this a seasonal secret for relational tensions. Never get hysterical or historical. Quickly Ace, last comment, what can you tell us about that? Well, you gotta keep your cool, number one, okay? And you never go back to the past to bring yeah. up a hurt. Like what's the you know point? Because it's, it's a weak weapon. It's a weak weapon. The strongest weapon that we have is just reaching out and being real with each other yeah. and being honest with each other. And in developing that relationship, then it'll take you to that place where nothing will separate you from the, those that God has called you to serve and to serve with. That's God's plan for us. We could be the most the strongest, most united army that the world has ever seen if we just leave our junk alone. Mm -hmm. Poignant words from Pastor Ace. Let's take them to heart. Uh, Bill Prankard, Pastor Bill yeah. Prankard in his foreword to the book says, this book is an invitation to allow the Holy Spirit to examine our hearts, our motives, our attitudes and our actions and to make a fresh commitment to live the authentic Christ's life. Sounds pretty timely at the brink of a new year, Ace. Yeah. Pastor Bill was one of my mentors. I love and I support that guy with everything. It shows. He's a yeah. good buddy. Thanks for making this stop. And hey, this is at our e-store. And there might just be someone in your circle who'd uh, like to get some wisdom from uh, someone who's been there and done that. <laughs> Crossroads.ca. 1-800-265-3100 if you'd like to just pick up the phone and uh, order some for your whole group. Yeah. Ace, keep on keeping on. God keep you, you well. Got you got it. Love to joy. And she'd be sure to say love back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>